So what's up everyone? It's good to be back with more Wukong. Black Myth of Wukong. And yeah, we are currently on the tiger section here. And what I did was, is I looked, we're on chapter 2, and I looked to see how many bosses were on chapter 1. And apparently there's only three bosses left on chapter one that I actually missed. Two of them are secrets. And I just missed just one random boss that you can come across inside the world. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go back to chapter one. We're going to travel over and we're going to see if we can get these bosses out of the way before we continue on on chapter two. That way we can do our guy up a little bit more. Also, I think I'm going to actually go and... It's not in here right now, I'll actually show you the campfire, what I'm meaning in a second. But, I need to start getting points into this. Because when I'm doing my attacks, I mean, are these like, after six successful hits with the first four moves or light attack combo, like attack finisher deals extra area damage. When stamina is depleted, a weaker light attack finisher can still be performed. And what is this? Is spin it? Okay, for that's like in there, so maybe it's in the stances? That's so cool that, isn't it? Okay, so that's like a heavier, enable sprinting while charging. Each time level considered increases damage reduction upon heavy. When below one focus point, the destined one can still... Yeah, still do. It's just like, it's, it seems like whenever I'm doing like a distance... They increase health recovery upon consuming a focus point. Yeah, it's just for like the normal little enemies though. I mean, I've already, like, put points into, like, the, these. But I think it, I need to, like, find a way where actually just the stamina cost of jumping. Each talent level can still increase stamina recovery rate when health is above half. But yeah, I need to, like, start putting points into, like, here. After sprinting, like, attack starter temporary deals more damage. Amount of damage reduction for short duration after perfect dodge. See, yeah, we've got things in there that we have to like work out what we're going to actually do. And as far as in here, I think I'm going to actually change to this armor. It gives me like more defense. The one I'm using right now is moderately increased sprint speed. When sprinting each second, moderately increases attack. This effect can stack up to 10 times. And seize upon stopping. In cloud step, a shroud in black wind will attack enemies nearby the destined one and, de uh, and the decoy continuously. I'm not really sure what that's really going to do. But I'm just doing it for the simple fact that I'll get defense out of it. But, before I do that, I'm going to craft this weapon here. We need 8,100 8, will. So I think we'll be able to pick this up by the time we go back here and get this first boss and do these other bosses. I think we should be able to get this done. So... With all that being said right now, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Tell your friends and tell your family. It's absolutely free and doesn't cost anything. And... Yeah, let's continue on with more Wukong. No. We have to go to the snake trail.
Now, we've already fought one of these. Um, it's called Bar-le-Gur. <laughs> it's um, pretty much a uh, big frog. It's one of the Yagwai's chiefs. Um, it says that he's like one of the toughest, but it's like at the start of the game, so... You know, we've been a little bit upgraded, so it may, might not be as bad. Um, but it says he's one of the toughest you'll encounter. Um, he's irritating, watch out in particular for his backwards kick attack. You know, his back legs just kick. We've already, we've already seen this on the previous video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. There's also a playlist. If you want to see the game from the very beginning. So what we want to do is, is we want to start from here at the shrine. And we want to head up the stairs. Make sure there's no one animals. We want to head up the stairs, then what we want to do is... Just cross this bridge. Okay. <laughs> Have a nice day down there. <laughs> and... Cross the bridge, then follow the path until you start heading down a wooden... Let's just get rid of these guys first. Okay. Head down a wooden slot platform, jump off this platform to the right and you'll land in the river. Now I actually came down here. Let me actually just... I'm guessing it's down here. Hello, Mr. Frog. There he's there. There he's down here. Hey, man, what's going on? Bloody little froggies. <laughs> ah, what the fuck? I shot myself. Ow! Ow! Awesome. There we go, the ball -ga. boss. <laughs> ball -ga lang. And he's a spirit as well. Which means you can use him in here. Moderate reduces the stamina cost for jumps and jump attacks, take form and stick out the tongue to lash out foes. And we've got little demos on here as well. Look at that. <laughs> it's so cool, isn't it? Doesn't do like a lot of damage though. Um But yeah. Super cool. Also as well, like I need to You can upgrade these. Now this relic thing, I I don't understand this just yet. Um, if anyone knows, let me down, uh, let me know down in the comment section. Uh, considering he's focus gained upon, like, light attack hits, and it says hold E to awaken. This during battle, or... 
because if I do it here and I'm holding E, it's not doing anything. So, yeah, if you do know what that's all about, let me know down in the comment section. Just make sure there's nothing else around here. So yeah, there's just this little section, I didn't even realise it. I didn't think you could like jump over there. I thought this was just like the area. And it's the same with the next one that we're about to go to as well. Um, on the third bell. Um, you know what, the shrine's not really that far, so... Let's just do that. The two bosses that are left are actually secret ones, so... You're going to be able to see the um, secret bosses. I just wanted to, like, make sure that I got, like, all the bosses. And when I seen that I was only two bosses off, or three bosses off, and two were secret, so I was like, you know what, the first run that we've done so far has been pretty good. Um, like, we haven't missed much, which is awesome. So, next up, we have to go over to... Give me a second. Let me see, maybe if I can just, because I know where it is, I just need to find the shrine. Um, da, 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 da. can't see him. I need to find the actual boss. Okay, that one was for the, like, the chapter two. Wait. Um... The white clad at Noble Arena. Now, where about, is, where about is that in the shrine now? Um, just got the cards before uh, defeating. Where We can actually look at the picture here. Okay, yeah, let's see if I can actually just... Bamboo Grove, Mars... Bamboo Grove, Mars of White. Okay. Got it. <laughs> I apologise. And this is one of the secret bosses. Called... The Red Long is the second one. This one is Jin... Elder... Elder Jinji, or something he's called. Okay, let's see if I can, like, find my way again. I know exactly where it is. I would have got it yesterday, but it glitched out at the... Okay, that was like... Mm -hmm. Back through here. Yeah, but I would have got it yesterday, but what happened was it glitched out a little bit. Um, so it like put me off, I wasn't like concentrated. But it's essentially down here. 
We've got a little guy that's in there as well. <laughs> He's so cool as, as well, like, Dave, and you get introduced to him. And we were in here and we were fighting one of the bosses. And I just need to go down this way. I don't know if there's any enemies in here. Yep. Oh! Whoa! What's this all about? Now the bell's there, but I just want to make sure there's nothing else flying around. Okay, oh, little flower here. A Gentian. A Gentian. And here we go, third bell. Now when I ring this, it says I should get teleported. And it'll be like a boss fight, so yeah, let's see. I think the Elder Jinchi is practically the same as, um, it's like the big baby. <laughs> like the one that we're using for our F right now, that does the big head but For anyone that doesn't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you it when, um, when we get into the battle. Well, you'll be able to actually see it on the screen. Ooh. Yeah, the F one there, down on the right hand side. It's just basically like... It just looks like a big baby. Big cry baby. Uh huh. Oh, you can't... Go in there? Okay. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, there's actually another chest. Oh, bear beads. Hold on. After absorbing the lingering will, moderate increase maximum health and mana for long duration. And it goes to what? Health? And it goes to defense? Yeah, why not? It's only one set though. Is this like the, the legs of the torso in here? <laughs> No, okay. Let's just collect all this stuff. Because you won't be able to come back in here. Yo, look at this though. Oh, it's a shrine? Okay, you can come back here then. Okay, let's see how much we've got. Maybe we can get this weapon now. 
sex. <sighs> Let's see if I got. Can we sell anything? Nope. Nothing to sell. Okay, I guess we're going in this door here, so... Let's see what we're dealing with. Oh, it's a big baby! Big baby! Okay, he's not a joke. What's he doing? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Does this get anything to do with it? What's he doing? Oh, he's healing himself from the bodies. God damn it, man. I'm going to die. It's very unfortunate. I didn't realize at the time that he was healing. I was just wondering what he was doing. All I had to do was hit his little minions. So it's not really too bad, actually, of a boss fight, to be honest. Um. Yeah, he's not too bad.
Ow. Ow. Oh, it's got maniac mode. Here they go, it's maniac mode. Stop, 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 
Awesome little boss battle there. I thought I was going to die last second. I was like, yeah! But they managed to get the last hit. I was so close though. So I've only got like one boss left. Now, I think we get some sort of fire um, thing, which would have been. helpful for the bear which I think is one of the fireproof mantle let everything else burn I care for nothing but my master I give it to me quickly so yeah this tea thing would have um, been helpful When can is full, press T to use vessels. Some hidden vessels that left by the predecessors can be discovered in the journey, each with unique power. Using, the, um, using them costs Kui, which can be recovered from hidden enemies. So for a fourth duration after activation, grants burn immunity and gradually increases focus. Highly effective in specific environments and against specific enemies. You know, it would have been so much better against the bear because that's why we were dying quite a lot. I still think it was a terrible fight though. But yeah, well, we've got fireproof now, so. I need to start putting points into. Stam is depleted. That's of the light attack though, what about? Increase the health recovery upon focus point. Form and heavy attack during light attack combo with a focus point consumed allows a distant one to execute. See. Performing light attack upon seeing through the enemy initiates light attack combo for the third move. After successful hit with the resolute strike, performing another heavy attack, consume a focus point. Moderate increase movement speed each time, increase maximum health of the decoy. Transformations. Each talent increases the recovery speed. This is a perfect dodge, does more damage. Do that. I think I think um, that's pretty, pretty good. Could be wrong, but let's go and get our weapon now. Get an upgraded weapon and whatever we've got left we'll use it to like craft the armor. Um, yeah, the shrine's up here, isn't it? I 
I don't think there's anything up here to buy from this guy. Let me just double check. There's a little dude that's in here. Two drops, honey brew. She oh, that's right. You can upgrade your drinks as well. Increase the number of slots for soaks. Just the... Oh, you need like five for that? Reduces the amount of health recovered from using the god, but enhances the effect of continuous recovery. And this just recovers more health upon using it. And well, let's just leave the upgrades on that just now. What do I need to upgrade the god? A fragment vine. Okay, yeah, he doesn't have anything. Brew eyes. Nothing else has changed here. If I watch the brew, actually, moderate increases damage reduction. Using the god moderate increases damage reduction for a short period. Yeah, I guess so. Next time, down a few mouthfuls in one go! <laughs> oh, that's there. Okay, craft weapon. And you compare it. It's just better, it does 10 more damage, and gives me some critical hit. There we are. Look at 1,500. Oh. Back scratcher. <laughs> what is it though? Is it? Oh, it's like a. Oh, there's is a new armor. Deals additional damage to enemy upon crashing near a mob. Ooh, upon crashing the on the enemy, massively just to cool down. And this is um, sprint speed. Ooh, only need eight hundred as well. Okay, I mean, maybe the mobilization is not too bad. Okay, so we've got that then. I guess we can like go towards that kind of thing. Now there's one. Uh, more boss called the Red at Long. Um, now you need to get an, an item in Chapter Two, which we picked it up. Um, it's called the Long Scale. It's a, a secret item from Chapter Two. Um, so we have to go to the Forest of Wolves. No way. To get to long scale, in order to unlock the boss fight, you need to progress through the first chapter. So we have to go to um, a waterfall. So let's see if we can uh, find our way over there then, so... A secret item chapter two, then another item with a waterfall and uh, the outside. Okay, the forest of wolves. Let's just find our way over to the forest of wolves, and it's outside the forest. So now this boss is actually going to be level. Leveled up to chapter two, 
So although it's in the boss is in chapter one, the boss is going to be level two, essentially. So just say chapter one is level one, this boss will be chapter two. So let's see if we can find on the left hand side of the first Prince Arena there's a clay wall. Okay, the red long itself is found inside an area adjoining the forest of wolves. So I'm going down this way. And passing the two guys. Going this way, I think. For what deed must his head be hung for all to see? For what deed must the water they gulp hung free? For what deed should all matter not care for to see? For what deed must his head be Okay, I don't like actually remember going up to this area anyway. Okay. Just let me actually have a look around here. There's a waterfall there, I think. I'm gonna get these mushrooms. <laughs> okay, so you can interact with that there, but... Let's just do that. And see how we get on. We may die, but... Um... Yeah, let's see what we're dealing with. <laughs> Another secret boss. <laughs> And once we beat this boss, then all of chapter 1 is completed, all bosses are done, all 11 bosses, and then we can continue on to chapter 2. Chapter 2 has got like, quite a few bosses, like there's like, I know of like 17, <laughs> so there's quite a lot in the second one, chapter 2. Now this guy might be a little bit tough. Oh. Okay. Oh. 
Oh my days. Oh my god, run around. Run around. No! Ow. Ow. Can't see. Come on, man, get around here. Okay, now you have to explode those things. I mean, it's okay for the first go, but we had them down three times here. So technically, if we can burst those um, little barrels really fast, if we can get the barrels broke in time, then it won't be as bad. Yeah, let's see.
Fuck. Okay. Just know that he's tough. Um I just need to try and try and um dodge his What is um Shock quelling powder. Wait, why don't I have it? Okay, it's not that much of a bloody pellant, is it? So good. Gonna get done over. Getting done over. I had him. What do we have? That was so fun and good. Thundertail? Awesome. Is that everything?
Ooh. Mod increases the damage dealt by... Oh, polish that. Okay, so this is like moves down then. Got it. Let's examine it now. Let's look at it. And that looks super cool, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. And... Increase the damage by all power, power stance moves. That's really cool, actually, if you want to do, like, the standing on the stick thing. At least I've got it there if I want to, like, if I need to use it. And it's an epic as well. It does good attack. There's, like, extra 20 for your attack. But I'm currently not using that stance at the moment, so... Yeah. Still cool, though. So... These are, like, stances... Yeah. Still not level 30 yet. Each time increased stamina recovery rate when health is above half. Hmm. Increase the engage distance. Grants more focus when the second move light combo hits an enemy. Increase critical hit chance and reduce duration. I think that's for a um, effects maybe? Like the shock and stuff like that. I think that's what that is. The four Bane's effects. Oh, I don't know what to do, what to do. Perform the light attack upon seeing through the enemy initiates. Each talent, eh, uh, reduce the stamina of a heavy. Damage dealt by all varied combos. Yeah. I want more damage, I need more damage. Equipment grants damage reduction when gorgeous is depleted. Oh, slightly increases critical hit chance. This is like less damage. Hmm. It's 3% critical or you just take like less damage but it doesn't... Oh, but it's 15%. That's at 15 anyway. Grants considerable damage reduction when Gordius is depleted. Yeah, I'm going to try it out. Let's try it out. Inventory. Oh, that's good stuff. There we are. These are like... Oh, I guess these are like tr things you can sell then. Maybe. Yeah. Well, that was cool, eh? Two secret bosses. And the final boss, the frog one. Pretty good. Oh, so actually, like, spawns you there, but it's not like a shrine. Okay. Maybe that's like just lead us back out. Yeah, super cool um, bosses. 11 bosses in chapter 1.
they're all done now, so that's pretty cool. So if you want to check all the bosses out, they're right here on the channel for you. There's also a playlist as well from the whole entire start of the game so far, so yeah, go and check that out as well. Drop a like on them, share, and let me know what you think in the comment section. Now this guy might kill me. Oh wait, I've got a okay, I didn't mean to do that then. I thought I still had low health. <laughs> Okay, none of it matters anyway. what we can do here. Oh wow, I actually still don't have anything to sell. Hmm. Okay. Let's do that. Two thousand for that. Performing light attack following. I need for the legs. Hmm. Let's just rest. We'll go up here and beat these two guys up. <laughs> Get ourselves some legs. Wait a minute, is this not... Two thousand for the armor. Got the arms. You know what? Let's rest again and we'll go and beat up a couple of enemies. Just where we're here. See if maybe we can get like the torso.
Let me just move out of that bit over here. Okay, how much do we have? Hmm. Let's see, we can do like one more run of that and see if we can get it. I mean, why not? It's just so that I can like just do it here. Well, you know, essentially at this part, we'll get the torso at least. Because how much am I getting? Yeah, I'm still getting like something for it, so maybe like one more run or something after this. Okay, 1.5 Wait, is he on like on this helmet here? I need 400. Now, I thought you could, like, sell. Like, one piece of gold. <laughs> What is it I need for it? Just to make sure that I know. Okay, as it's 2,000. So, we should be able to get it on this run. And we'll just leave the legs until, you know, it's only 900. So we'll get that, like, once we move forward. Maybe one or two more enemies. <clears throat> there we are, should be enough now. I don't think we need to bother with that one up there, do we? 
No, we don't. Okay. Because I'm using that immobilized thing right now, so... Deals additional damage to enemy upon crashing their immobilization. There we are, we've got a little bit more better defense now. but at 101, which is pretty good. So we've got this. Which helps me immobilization. 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 And then all we need now is one um one thousand and eighty. And we can get this to give ourselves a set. Which means upon crashing immobilization on the enemy, it massively reduces the cooldown for the spell. So we'll get a little bit back for the spell. Which is cool. It's like a reduction on it. So that's super awesome. Um, do you have any points or anything? I don't. A little journal here. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to leave the video here. Let me know what you think about um the secret bosses. And what do you think about the video too? Um, let me know down in the comments section. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Tell your friends and tell your family. It's absolutely free and doesn't cost anything. And as, and as, and as, and as always, take it easy. Have a good one. And goodbye.